What's up all my fine, fine girls? No pimple is wet here again with another video. So today, I am going to be doing a video on BDK, um, is it perfumes? BDK perfumes? So pretty much, you guys know I love me some, you know, some smell good, some perfume. And recently, I have gotten to the house of BDK. So over the past like week <laughs> and a half, I did acquire some new ones. I also got some samples of some. Well, I started off with ordering samples to see which one I wanted because um, I don't know if they're sold anywhere here in the US where you can go in person to smell them. So I had to, you know, order some samples, see which one I wanted to get. And of the samples that I decided that I ordered, I decided to go with four full size bottles. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. I'm gonna go ahead and you know go over the actual bottles that I do have and then the ones that I did get samples of because there's some of them that I did not end up buying. I'll go ahead and talk about that too. So for anybody who's interested in BDK as a brand, you wanted to know you know which ones to get or you just wanted more of an idea of what they smell like, then this video will be for you because for the most part I got some of the more popular ones that you know most people kind of you know have. So yeah, we won't, we won't get into all of that, okay? So let us go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with my favorite of the bunch. Like to me, this is the best smelling one. So I wanted to pull up the nose here. So this one of all of them is the one that I think like is the safest blind buy. This one most people will like, and it smells amazing, okay? And that is going to be Passe Soir, okay? You, <laughs> this perfume is so beautiful. So let me start off with the notes. First, it has ginger as a top note, mandarin, orange, black pepper. And then the middle notes, it has, can you say Moroccan jasmine, orange blossom, and then the base notes is cashmere, amberwood, and Singapore patchouli. Yes. I, I mean, I don't know how to describe this. I truly don't know how to describe this perfume. But it smells amazing. It smells so just elegant, sexy. Like, I, this is a scent that I feel like I've been wanting forever. And I feel like I've smelled it before on somebody, but I just didn't know, like, y'all was like, dang, that, that smells really good and unique and I finally have it, but like, is there anything out on the market that smells like this? I don't know, like I've never smelled something like this in store, like where I've been able to pinpoint, but I feel like I've smelled it on somebody before. Sorry, something is in my eye. But yeah, I hope that's making sense, but this perfume, it smells divine. Like, you guys have got to get your notes. If you have not smelled this yet, or you have got to get your sample of this and smell it, it smells so good, okay? So this is the, the by the way, all their bottles, I think they're just a 3.4 fluid ounce. So I have the, you know, the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle here. Um, what was I gonna say about this? Oh, okay, so as far as projection, longevity, sillage, all of that stuff. Longevity, I mean, from what I saw online, BDK is not really, you know, the beast mode fragrance. So I kind of already knew that going into this. And when I received it, they definitely weren't lying. So you're not going to get your Mancera, MFK type of level of beast mode, you know, like super, super crazy projection and longevity, no. And that, let's also talk about the um, projection. It definitely wears more close to the skin, more close to the clothes. I find that, you know, it definitely sticks longer to clothes than like the skin. So that's the only kind of con with a lot of these perfumes that, you know, they sell like they have, this is a beautiful scent and I really, really wish it projected more and it lasted longer, but I'm in love with the scent. This is beautiful definitely recommend okay this one is the best one that i feel like i have here so yes passe soir okay next up is this one right here this is bouquet de hungry i don't think i said that right but it is what it is <laughs> so this one right here is it it leans more feminine in my opinion um honestly this oops, got lipstick on this this really smells like um chanel chance it smells just like it I don't own that Chanel perfume, so I don't mind, but I've always thought that that Chanel perfume in particular smelled nice, because I don't like a lot of the Chanel perfumes, the number fives, Mademoiselle, all of that, I don't, I don't like any of that stuff. But the Chance line, I was like, that does smell good. So I don't mind that I have this, um, but yeah, if you have Chanel Chance and you're interested in this one, it smells just like it. If you like Chanel Chance, but you just never bought it, don't own it, that's what that smells like. So let's go ahead and talk about the notes. Top notes for this one is pear, strawberry, cassis, the middle notes is Turkish Rose, Jasmine, Sambok, and Loranox. And then the base note is Musk, Amber, and Cedar. Um, she smells good. Um, I think this is another safe blind bite. I feel like this 
most people would like this for sure so this is definitely a more safer blind buy in my opinion i think she smells good it's nice to you know just kind of have this one to run errands it's something that's very like simple like for me this is definitely more of a daytime type of wear i mean you can wear your perfume if you want to but like for me it just leans more daytime day-to-day -day type things you know okay let's move on to the next one that i decided to pick up and that is going to be the one that actually caught my attention, the one that made me even want to start buying anything from this brand, and that is going to be Grace Charnel. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so let's go ahead and just talk about the notes first before I get into this. So, top notes. Oh, let me put the cap on. I think the cap is supposed to, you know, sophisticate what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, the top notes is cardamom fig black tea. Middle notes is iris um, and bourbon velveteer or vel velvetiver. I don't think I said that right. Um, and then the base on the sandalwood and tonka bean. This is definitely um, very green heavy in my opinion. This was actually one I was the most interested in and out of the ones that I got is actually my least favorite. I still wanted it, but it just, it it's not my favorite, but it's not bad. Um, it definitely gives more, leans more green. Um, it definitely just feels like a nice, rainy day cozy type of perfume like that's when i would want to pull this out like it definitely screams more winter to me i don't know if i would really get much wear of this like you know in the in the summertime i could probably like early spring i could probably still be pulling this off but for me this is definitely more of a colder weather type of scent in my opinion granted you can wear your perfumes whenever you want to but yeah so i mean that's how i would describe it i mean i don't think this is a safe blind buy you definitely want to sample this first definitely want to sample this first okay and before we move on to the last bottle that i actually have we're gonna venture into um one of the samples that i got because it actually ties into this one now where is it this is the question which one is it okay here it is all right so um i got my samples i got my samples from lucky scent so this right here is grease charnel the extrait so i wanted to know what the difference was to see which one i wanted to go with and i decided to go with the grease charnel um but i'm not gonna lie <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this X straight, when I smelt her, I was, she was gonna give Charnel a, a run for her money. Mm. So this is kind of like the Grey Charnel, a little OD. Like she's just a little bit more deeper, a little bit more, just, it's just, it's heightened. Just think about it that way. Like, it's like you have Grey Charnel, which, you know, she, she, she's there, but the X straight is just a little more of a heightened version of that one. Mm. This does smell good. I mean, Grease Chanel smells good. I probably should have went with this one. Why did I choose this one over this one more? I don't know. You know what I think what it was, was the bottle. And like online, everyone's bottle looked more like a purple liquid. And I guess I just didn't want that darker bottle, but low key, I should have went with the X-Ray. I mean, I like both, but I, I don't know. I think I kind of like the X-Ray a little bit more. I probably should have bought that one, but I mean, it is what it is. I like them both, but yes. If you get a sample, I will get, I will recommend you get a sample of both. But I would say Grease Charnel x is like a, a it's like OD of Grease Charnel, basically. So now um, let's go ahead and talk about another, I have two more samples here and then we'll wrap up. We'll actually just wrap up with the last bottle. So let me see, where is it at? Oh, let's talk about the one that I did not like, okay? Cause there was two of them that I really didn't like, but there's one that I really, really don't like. Okay, so actually I misspoke. What pulled me into BDK was Rouge Smoky. When I saw that red liquid in that bottle, the name Rouge Smoky, and I was like, ooh, the way everyone raved and discussed this and talked about that perfume, I wanted it. And so I smelled it. I'm sorry, y'all. It smells nasty. It smells nasty. It's not to say that those people are lying. They probably really, really do love that scent. But for me, I don't like it. I do not like the scent. It's not about how it wears on me. I don't like it. It does not smell good to me at all. So this is a little sample that I have here. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. so there so it does smell like some sort of like cherry cola dr pepper ish honestly to me it's leaning more root beer and that's why i don't like it i don't like the drink root beer i don't like the way it smells i don't like the way it tastes so this was never going to work for me like i think that type of smell smells disgusting but there are people who truly love it so it's not to say that this is a bad scent for me personally like i just genuinely do not like this scent but um, yeah, it, it wasn't for me. So I'm glad, I'm glad <laughs> I did not blind buy this because if I would've had a whole bottle of this, oh my goodness, y'all, like I this, I, I don't like the scent of this at all. But yeah, that's Rouge Smoking. So 
it does smell like what people say it smells like and if you like that type of stuff the root beer cherry cola type of scent you're going to love it um for me I, i've never liked the type of scent so i don't know i don't know why i thought i would but you know what? everyone kept saying dr pepper i was like oh dr pepper okay i think i might like that but to me it smells like root beer and i hate the smell of root beer Ugh. okay and i have one more here and that is velvet tonka so that's this let's go ahead and sniff this one so i decided to pass on this as well too because something about this smells very artificial it smells like play-doh and i don't like that i was expecting something like oh, why are they mowing the grass when i want to film okay it smells like play-doh to me you guys i don't like the smell of that like it just i was expecting something that smelled like almondy you know toffee care i don't know what i was expecting but not this like it literally to me it's gonna say anything i'm good with it smells like play-doh it literally smells like play-doh no mm -mm. nope no, 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 no not for me not for me she is not for me but hey you may like it but like i said you might want to sample all of this and i got my samples from lucky scent okay so yeah sample before you buy and now let's get into the last bottle that i have here and that is going to be creme de cure or creme de cure i don't think i said that right but anyways let's go ahead and talk about the notes in this one okay because this one piqued my interest so first and foremost well let me get into notes and then i'll you know get into my thought on that Okay, so hold on, let me let me read the notes. So it has, the top notes are pineapple, grapefruit, mandarin, orange, bergamot. Middle notes are white suede, sandalwood, pink pepper, pepper. Base notes are cashmere, vanilla, white musk, gray musk, and birch. And um, of the four bottles, this is the one that has like, you know, the gold, like she just looks a little different. Okay, so let's talk about what this smells like. So when I saw the top notes of pineapple and suede and all that stuff, I was like, ooh, that sounds like I like that. This smells good. Let me spray this on the back of my hand. This smells good. This honestly, it, it's definitely more of a unisex scent. And I will say, I can see, I can see men liking this. I had actually sprayed this earlier um, on myself and my brother was like, ooh, that smells really good. So I could definitely see men liking this like for themselves. But oh, <laughs> as a woman, you could definitely pull this off. It just depends on how like you know it mixes with your body camera sorry my camera had cut off so i don't know why i stopped that but anyways um i think what i was saying was like oh it, this could work for you based off of like like your body chemistry and how you just decide to like spray it but i think she smells good okay i like this one a lot mm. yeah i could definitely see a man wearing this and it's smelling good on him but i don't know i still kind of like it i like it on me yeah yeah, she's good. She's good. Okay. Um, do I do I smell any of these notes in there? I was hoping that I would smell more of the pineapple. Honestly, I don't really smell much of the pineapple, and that's what that's the note that really pulled me in. I was like, ooh, that all of this sounds really really good. But anyway, so that would be the different perfumes that I have here by BDK. So we had three samples, and then I had I got so actually I got a total of seven samples. And out of the seven, I chose four to go with. Um, there are a couple more that I did want to look into. Like, I think Tabac Rose is one that I wanted to smell. Um, I have to go look. But, yeah, there's a couple more. By the way, so where I got my perfume. So, I <laughs> I was all, all around. So, I got Passe Soir and the Bouquet de Hungry. I got this off of Max Aroma. I this is my first time shopping with them when I bought these and I love it because they have two day shipping and you can definitely get like coupon codes and then they also have like a discount so I didn't pay full price for for any of these bottles and then I actually went back and got Grey Charnel because it was sold out so I was gonna go and buy it somewhere else but yes and then I got Creme de Cure off of Fragrance Net because it was sold off sold out on Max Roma the reason why I didn't go with Lucky Scent to buy them is because the discount was better on Max Roma like I mean it was cheaper so i was like i'm gonna just go over here so yeah when you're buying any of these these perfumes do not buy full price do not okay like there are so many like actual legit websites that you can buy these um perfumes at so max roma is one that i've shopped with i have bought from lucky scent before fragrance net fragrance x um i've never shopped with so avant-garde but that's another one that i see a lot of youtubers here that you know they shop on and it seems pretty legit so there's that so yeah 
um that's out with today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this um comment down below um your favorite bdk perfume if you have any or which ones you're interested in you know just sound off in the comment section and until next time i'll talk to you beauties later bye